bugs. They are fine outside, but once they cross that threshold, Houston, we have a problem. This video has been sponsored by Bengal Road Spray, and I'll be sharing a few cleaning tips on how I keep a clean and healthy home, as well as my tips for keeping bugs out of your home. Bugs, they walk in just like you do, and when I see one, I must be ready. I use a caddy for almost everything, even keeping a special caddy for bug extermination. Inside is my Bengal Roach Spray, a broom and dustpan, paper towels, gloves, all weather sealant, and foam spray. Roaches can easily find a way to creep right on in. Bengal Roach Spray is what I use to help with keeping roaches out. They will find their way in and I'll be sharing the benefits of using this product and why you should use it too if you have an issue with roaches. I don't keep many appliances on our countertops, but if you do, be sure to clean your toaster because you don't want them to take residence in your house. Clean that toaster crumb tray often because roaches, they love to eat. Typical areas to spray for roaches is around pipes and cracks and crevices. I always spray around our kitchen and bathroom pipes. Another tip I always do is before going to bed to be sure not to leave dirty dishes in your sink. They will eat anything in it. If there's any buildup in the sink, I'll give it a good scrub, getting rid of any debris left inside the sink because they are not picky eaters when it comes to food. They will eat anything from grains to meat, so it's good to clean the sink thoroughly. I love using my electric scrubber to clean underneath my undermount sink, which is for the most part easy to clean, but it can get a little grimy where the countertop meets the sink. This is the place that is most often forgotten, especially when you're in a rush, but it takes no time to hit this area. Again, leaving no food for those little critters to eat. When I'm done with all of the scrubbing and cleaning, I'll wipe down the sink, drying out the water because roaches love moisture. Another thing that helps me is putting a rubber sink stopper. This helps to dry out the drain to keep the gnats and the roaches out. This works for me. I'm not sure if it works for you, but it works for me. I'll spray along the baseboards and under the sink. And as you can see, it's a dry yet powerful spray that penetrates deep into cracks and crevices, forcing roaches out of hiding to die. My windows unintentionally get neglected. However, these areas need cleaning too, just like baseboards and windowsills. They attract an enormous amount of dust and dirt and debris. Now, since the pollen has slowed down in our area just a little, I'm taking advantage of this opportunity to clean and get rid of the dirt. My electric scrubber comes in so handy, especially in the corners of the window. I'm wiping it off with the paper towels and I'm spraying the Bengal near the baseboards. Once or twice a year, my hubby and I will walk our entire home checking for cracks or any entry points that aren't sealed, and we discovered new cracks around the base of our front windows, which is common. My hubby is using all-weather caulk that you can get from any hardware store. Just place it on the cracks and smooth with your finger. When it dries, we will touch it up with paint. Check all pipes and conduit going into the house, PVC piping, AC electrical conduit, etc. The piping around this AC unit was taken care of when we moved into the house, but it's still holding up. Here's an example of what you should be looking for this huge hole around our outdoor electrical outlet. You want to add some sort of filler. My husband used foam sealant to close up both gaps. Check your foundation. We had an issue where tiny ants were getting inside through our master bath. This is the crack where they were getting in and hubby sealed the crack and we treated the bathroom with the Bengal Road Spray. And I love that there's no odor, no mess, and no roaches. Entry doors and garage doors. We have a three car garage door that's attached to our home. If doors are not sealed right, you will get rodents. Rodents are fierce. They can chew through weather strips on the sides and the bottom of the door, so be sure to inspect that. This is the interior of our garage door. If you see light, that's not good because anything can come in. Inspect your concrete expansion joints in your garage. This helps to keep your joints watertight and it will prevent moisture from seeping under your concrete. Hubby is adding expansion joints because the last layer we had put down has worn down and repairing a concrete expansion joint is really easy and it's so much cheaper than to hire a contractor to replace it. 
I also sprayed around the pipes near a washer and dryer, anywhere where there's a water source. I sprayed underneath it, behind it. While you're at it, clean your dryer vent. I'm giving the Hubster a break from cleaning the dryer vent this year and decided to hire a service. And this is what he found. We usually only clean the hose that's connected, but I wanted to clean the entire hose that goes outside of the house to get that cleaned as well. And here's what we found. There's a flapper that's on this connection and sure enough, this is what we found. Oh my gosh, this was blocking it. So it's so important that you get your vents checked at least once or twice a year. Hope this video has been helpful to you guys. I will provide a clickable link to Bengal Road Spray in my description box for your shopping convenience. And I want to thank you all for watching.